Do you fancy a small town store with countrywide appeal? Welcome to Stemler's Meats and Cheese here in Heidelberg. Kevin, this is a great little place. What do you have here? What we have, Maribel, is we, we manufacture a lot of products. Uh, smoked meat, deli, fresh meat we, we do as well. Uh, we do some uh, heat and serve products too. You can order meat platters, cheese platters. We can do that kind of thing for you as well. So you can uh, you help us out with our party planning. Oh, for sure. I notice there's a lot of fresh things around here. You've got uh, a really nice display cases just everywhere. Tell us about those. Fresh is definitely something that's a key word that you just brought up. We, we deal a lot with uh, local products we always have for the last 20 years. So we're into fresh produce that's local. Uh, the meat is all raised locally. And of course, we're a local company, so we produce it locally. And that's a great thing to have in your backyard, really. Tell us about your history, your background. Well, the company started in 1985 with my father and mother. And I was one of the first employees. I was 19 at the time. So uh, I was actually studying mechanical engineering and didn't think this was what I wanted to do. So I came back into the family business and actually started designing food, different products. And uh, from there, the company grew. And uh, we've actually uh, tripled our size in the last four years. So it's lately, it's just exploded. Share with us some of your awards. To date, uh, we have 21 provincial awards. Uh, going back to, to the early 80s, or mid 80s, I guess. And really the category that has won us uh, the most is an innovative category. So we've created very original products. Uh, the latest is a Montreal smoked bacon. And uh, you can think of a lot of things with that. I, I like to think of it on your burger. I like to think of it in a, a leaf salad with mandarins and, and sliced almonds, products like that. Being in the middle of country land and so many farmers around, some, what are some of your relationships with some of the local farmers? Well, we, we buy from the Elmira Produce Auction, so my mother's actually the produce uh, um, person here, as well as the baking, she's in charge of that. But uh, So we, we deal directly with the, the farmer on the produce, we deal directly with the baking. A lot of it is within just a, a few kilometers of here. Uh, Meat-wise, it's, it's all local as well. We, we, we know the farmers, we know how they're fed. Turkey is a big thing around here at holiday time. Uh, we deal with three farmers that feed the turkey a certain way and it's all drug-free. This kind of relationship is really important to us. We need to know where it's coming from and the people so that we know we're getting a top, top quality product. We know it's fresh. Uh, we know that uh, our customers are going to be satisfied and that's what makes a little company like us successful. How do you address food allergy concerns? Uh, well that actually starts way back even in the beginning of our early days. To, to build up clientele uh, we had to, we were being asked to change formulas and so when you're trying to build up that clientele you're doing that. Celiac disease uh, is a, a gluten issue or a wheat issue. So we've done a lot of work to try and find methods around it. I, I like to read a lot and, and research a lot. We're usually at the, the front of trying new ideas. So I, for instance, celiac disease, I'll use collagen. So that's very new, something the, the big manufacturers can't afford to do, but a small person like myself can. We deal with uh, people that have migraine headaches. Uh, MSG is the main trigger, so all our our spices are specially blended without MSG. Uh, we uh, shy away from corn and soy, these kind of things. And all this is because of our relationship with European spice companies that we have. So I have use of their food scientists and their labs. So this is the kind of, of technical support that I get to support this. What gets you up every morning? It's really the satisfaction I get from helping the people with the dietary needs. That's really been the, the, the inspiration. What really satisfied me is that the children who cannot eat what other children can eat. That we're, my brothers and I are producing a product that, that they can eat. So if they want to sit down at their birthday party with a hot dog with their friends, they know that they, they can and they don't have to have a separate meal. And that goes for adults too, but children especially. So that's what motivates me every day. I'm behind the scenes at Stemler Meats with one of the co-owners, Sean Stemler, who is the kingpin of sausage makers. Now, do I look cute in my little hairnet or what? Yes, very cute. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What are you going to be making for us today? What are you going to demo? 
Uh, well, I'm going to run off some uh, breakfast sausage casing. Uh, uh, this one that I'm making is plain, and it's specifically for a certain restaurant. Now, making things from scratch and making things right on site, there's got to be a very rewarding feeling about that. Tell us about how you feel about what you do. Uh, well, I take a lot of pride in what I do, and uh, I like to make uh, as uh, good a product as we possibly can. Uh, it's, it's fun uh, making it... Uh, our, with our own recipe and knowing that a lot of a lot of people enjoy eating uh, their breakfast or whatever they use it for. All right, take it away. Okay. Thank you so much, Thank Paul. You. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you. Stemler's Meats and Cheese here in Heidelberg promises you quality comes first with absolutely no exceptions. And you know what? Award after award, got to count for something.